Hi all, hope you're all keeping well. This is going to be a, a reasonably quick video. Um, this is just to show those that are interested in uh, playing with the Syscom on the P4 um, how, the, how to actually make or to actually build your own reader. Bear in mind that um, this won't write the chip, all this would do is read the chip. So what we've got here is, uh, I've actually used a real old Nano 3, um, which is about five, six years old. So it uh, it took a little bit of coaxing to program it, but now it's all sorted, I'll show you how to do it quite easily. So there's the working version, which I'll uh, just quickly demonstrate to you. So we'll plug her in. Uh, I'm going to screen capture. Um, I've just turned this is the programmer, this bit at the bottom. So I'm going to come away from that. Um, this is the BWV reader. Um, as you can see, uh, it's running, it's found the uh, Nano and it's doing its stuff. Oh, there you go. It's telling you the firmware. It's, it's a valid firmware of 108. So that's basically uh, all there is to it. And um, what it will do, it will save the files actually in the folder that the reader's in. And you get two files, uh, syscom1.b and syscom2. Um, you can actually compare them quite easily if you use something like um, Quick Edit, which is... Um, I'm not sure, I know it's in Chinese, <laughs> it's because I'm running the program outside of the program it normally runs with. So it defaults to Chinese, but it's easy enough to remember. Uh, and it's just a case of then dragging the second file on the right side. Um, you can do a fairly quick comparison anyway, because anything that's different, it comes up bright orange. You can't miss it. Right, okay, so anyway, that's... Uh, Get rid of that and we'll make a start. So let's unplug this, go back to the camera, pull it out of the way, and what we got is a brand new old stock nano. So we'll have that out of its bag. Uh, it's um, 380p, I believe, and it's CH340. Nothing special just a uh, standard unit like so okay so we need to program that now with this because it is an old chip um, I'm gonna have to use um, I have tried to use the IDE um, unless you use an older version it's not happy programming these so the easiest way to use it is to actually use the um, AVS uh dudes programmer which is free it's a v r d u d e double s uh you can download that and um there it is there on the bottom left um so we're going to need to select the com port now we can see from um the uh device manager it's showing there it's on uh com port 8 um, then you need to load the file in or select the folder in which case we're using um, if you download the syscon kit from um, BWE you'll find there's a folder called Arduino hex files and you want to use if it's an old Arduino you want to use the one that says uh, 328 older bootloader.hex basically um, you just basically put it in the flash path here which um, I think you can see on there. Um, and then basically just select on the right top here, Amiga 328P. I have created a preset. I'll, I'll put the preset up so you can download it. Then all you do is import it into the manager, select it, and it should set this up for you. Um, and then it's a case of, uh, that's it. So you plug your Arduino in. Uh, you can detect, so we'll click detect. And as you can see, the bottom left corner here, it says uh, it's found there a uh, 
the Arduino, the Amiga 328P and its ID. So we're now going to go to program. So hit the program button and there we go. Uh, it's programmed uh, all 32K by the looks of it. Bytes verified, no errors, so that's all looking good. So I'll uh, unplug that for a moment. And uh, I'll just close the COM port on the program because I keep forgetting. And then when I go and try and test the thing, because it don't work. Right, so I'm going to use a breadboard. This side, Arduino, comes with all the pins fitted, so it just makes life easier. You can make your own. So we're just going to pop that on the breadboard like so. Ideally, a 220 ohm. I can't find money at the moment, so I'm going to use 330 ohm. The circuit you'll see is um, actually up here, and um, that is available um, if you go to uh, Discord. Um, well, I'm sure you'll you'll see the circuit anyway. It's not an issue, is it? You can see it there, right? So, all right, first off, um, what I'm going to do is I'll stick the resistor which goes between TX and RX. This breadboard's not the best in the world, so I've just popped it across the two pins there at the back. That way around, there we go. So, what I've got here is another board already with the syscon on, um, and basically the, the fly leads are connected. Okay, right, so we've programmed the chip and what I'm doing now is just connecting up the actual uh, program, the, sorry, program the Arduino, just now connecting up a, a, a sys chip which uh, I've removed from a, a dead and gone PS4. Right, so we've got tool reset and we want supply, go up the 5 volt, uh, which I think is that one, is it? can't read this very well, it's air yeah, 5 volt, black to ground, and then uh, I think D4 will be the glitch pin as I call it. Okay, so basically that in a nutshell is really all it is. Um, I suppose let's see if it works. Um, pop that on. Uh, it's looking good. So we need now to go over to the uh, run the syscom reader. Yep, yep, and there we go. So that's it. And there's just make sure you can see there is actually two of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's the other one that I showed you and the one we've just done. Uh, and that's it. Big thanks to all the guys at BWE for all the hard work. I uh, suggest you visit their website. There's a link on YouTube and you can pull a lot of the files down uh, off their download page. Um, and also there's various fits on the GitHub and their Discord. Uh, this is just the free reader. As I say, you can't write with it or anything. But uh, you can uh, dump the data on the chip, but uh, then you'd have to follow the information on the uh, the uh, Cisco mod for the uh, the free data, which uh, I'll leave a link for that one as well, so you can have a read. But I hope this does help. Don't forget, you can't write with this; you can only read. If you want to make the mods, you're going to have to buy a new chip to program, and you'd need a programmer of some kind for that as well. Okay, bye.